guys and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. If you're still enjoying it, do drop a like on the video. That would be glorious. If we can get 400 as well, that would be superb, particularly as we're now at the stage of the semi-finals of the Champions League. Now, we're going to jump straight in. Um, highlights of the games that we've played so far this month coming up right now. Salvi out wide. Salvi needs to get back in the game a little bit. Goes past a couple. There we go. More like it. Baltam. Salvi to Baltam. The usual combination. Baltam's 22nd goal of the season. And Salvi's God knows how many assists. 1 0 Wimbledon. He get another cross. Will he go short for Salvi? Comes across for Kenneth. Pulls it across to Peter. And it's 2 0 to Wimbledon. Peter's 29th of the season. He needs one more to hit the big 30 target that I set for him. So come on, Peter. You can do it. Now, out wide for Rodriguez. A third goal here would make this very comfortable. Baltam brings it down. Oh, he's at the post, and it's in off the goalkeeper. Very unlucky for Middlesbrough there. It's an own goal from Denny's, and it's Wimbledon 3, Middlesbrough nil on 22 minutes. Salvi's corner now to Kenneth on the edge. Can he get himself into double figures for the Oh, what a great strike. 4-0 to Wimbledon. Kenneth with his, how many? Ninth goal of the season. One more for the big double, and we've suddenly scored four in about 15 minutes again. Peter goes back to Salvi. Salvi needs a good cross now. Ball in. Baltam's in again and it's five. Wimbledon five, Middlesbrough nil. Salvi with the cross, Baltam with the goal. And this is turning into that West Ham game again. Plays through Salvi. Can he pull another cross in? Surely not. Whips it across. Baltam's in again. It's six. Wimbledon six, Middlesbrough nil. Salvi with the assist again for Baltam. That's four assists today for Salvi and three goals for Imran Baltam. We're six nil up after 36 minutes. There we go. Six nil to Wimbledon. All goals scored in the first half. Second half was a little bit lack, but four more assists for Alessandro Salvi and another hat trick for Imran Baltam. Fabio steps up to take it and scores. Stoke nil, Wimbledon won from the penalty spot. I didn't think it was a penalty. It didn't look anything near to be a penalty, but this is 20th of the season for Big Fab. Salvi's free kick and it's in. Stoke nil, Wimbledon two, but I'm not sure it's going to matter. I think we could win every game the rest of the season and still not win the title at this rate. Well, there we go. Another solid win. We're still in the title race, but City are making it bloody difficult. He's on now. Kenneth, ball into Peter. He's got the pace. He's into the box now, Peter, but can he go past his man or will he square it for someone? Pulls it back. Achibar's in there. West Ham nil, Wimbledon one. Mohamed Achibar's second goal of the season. Set up by Peter this time. We have the lead up from Park. We'll send us back to the top. Brings it down. Save. Baltam in on the rebound. And it is 2-0 to Wimbledon inside five minutes. Baltam's 25th of the season. Don't know if Salvi will get an assist for that. I don't think he will. Space for Kenneth. Can he slip through Peter? No, nope. goes Baltam instead. Baltam cuts inside. Saved. Salvi on the rebound. How does he? Yes, he puts it in. West Ham nil, Wimbledon three. Salvi's the length of the season. He's got. He did get an assist earlier, so he's got yet another one to his name as well. Guerrero's gone past his man. Ball whipped in, and well, West Ham have got on back. It's uh, I think it was Sherbisberger. Yep, and that's a bit of a that's a bit of an annoying goal to concede. But there you go, three one. Shalabar steps up and scores. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it was definitely a penalty, but what on earth are we doing? Like, what are we playing at? Goes to the edge of the box for Sam Farmer instead. Oh, what a goal from Sam Farmer. You've enraged the demon. And Sam Farmer there with his fourth goal of the season. Christ on a bike. 4-2 at half time. Well, there we go. West Ham 2, Wimbledon 4. We equal our biggest ever points tally in the Premier League, but I don't think it's going to be enough in the end. Goes long. Eisler's in there and we lead in the FA Cup semi-final. Philippe Eisler, the rotated team, and Wimbledon are somehow still doing it against Chelsea here with the Barcelona game coming up soon. Right, guys, we're back and we're on the team selection screen. I just wanted to jump straight in. No QOTDs today, although if you have any ideas for one, do drop those in the comments as well. Um, now... Bad news. Fabio picks up a back strain and is going to be missing both legs of the semi-final against Barcelona. And I don't know if there is if we get to the final, I don't know if he'll actually be fit for it yet because he's got how long left on his? Two weeks. I don't know whether he'll be back in time. It, it would really, really suck. Um, as you've seen, though, we are into the FA Cup final as well, which is just giving us yet more stuff to do, which is against Manchester City as well. So... Lineup, we're going to go away from Barcelona. Now, I'm actually going to go with the full attacking strength lineup today rather than pussyfooting around because my assistant said we should concentrate on attacking movement today because of their defensive vulnerability. So I think of the hell, why the hell not? Let's go out there and try and play Barcelona. Let's just know that we're going to be good at home and try and get some goals on the road. So we're going to go with Peter, Van Hoyvel, Baltam, Salvi, Achibar, Farmer, Rodriguez, Gomez, Cabrera, Aseki, Gafrascoli, and on the bench, uh, the usual mob, basically. I'm, Masek is back now, but I'm preferring Achibar at the moment just because he's such he's in such great form. I can't afford to get him out of the way. Now, we rested everybody, minus Sam Farmer, um, for the game against Manchester uh, Chelsea in the Cup. Tolson did replace him in the game, so Sam Farmer might be a replacement that we may have to make at some point in this game. Although, I don't, I don't know. I think we're probably just best going what we've got. Let's get into this and just hope... To hell. We're apparently the favourites, which strikes me as a little bit presumptuous, considering the last time we played Barcelona. Well, look at that. Fabio and Peter have eight goals each now in the Champions League, so that's interesting. Um, did Peter, oh, of course, because he got the two against um, Porto in the away leg, didn't he? Okay, so 
Fernandez, Vissa, Neymar, Thiago, Maya, Vagel, uh, Benali, Mikhailov. Oh, Mikhailov. He better not have a key thing. He was the guy we tried to sign. Anton, Mario, Jose, Marcelo, and they've got Ter Stegen still in goal. They've got Ross, uh, Rodriguez, Gerson, Helder, Pons, Avia, and Dumont. Um, he sounds French. Is he French? Remy Dumont. Oh, he couldn't be more French with a name like that. Lovely old job. Right. Let's just get into this, basically. We're, they're playing... I don't know. At least it's not a system that I have not seen before or something like that, because then I would not know what the hell we're supposed to do with it. We're just going to go for this, basically, and see what we can come up with over two legs against Barcelona. I feel like as long as we don't embarrass ourselves in the away leg, we've always got that brilliant form at home that we've shown over the last few games in the Champions League to come back and hopefully help us out. They've been superior in the air. Well great but they've not got that much possession and that's one of the things my assistant was saying is basically saying that they're going to have a lot of the ball if we can stop them from doing that we take away their attacking threat and the fact is so far we've had 61 percent possession 61 mostly long passes we're still sort of going to this right hand side a little bit i'm just gonna bring that actually what they said again was that we should try a higher tempo and i'm wondering if maybe today would be a good time to try that out half an hour gone we've got most of the ball pass completion is vastly in our favor we've had the only shot on target of the game so far we're keeping it nice and tight just like we did against schalke in the away game actually um keeping it tight at the back in theory and yeah a goal though would make the world of difference to us getting through here even if it's a one-all draw you know i'd rather have a one-all draw than a nil-nil um frankly baltam see what we got maybe going to a oh hello right here's there a chance for Barca now will they be able to find that ball over the top or is it going to be a case of meaningless long passes see they don't look like they're a team that's going to try the long ball and that actually plays into our hands a little bit because it means that we can play the high line without quite so much uh you know trepidation when into these positions Fernandez is through he's round the goalkeeper and what a save that is and Cabrera could have been off so we the chance there, first real opportunity of the game. I don't know how that's not a clear-cut opportunity, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go to more direct passing today because I feel like there's room in behind them for us if we can exploit it. Right, Mikhailov now into Fernandez. Barca are starting to get a bit of pressure on us now. Watch for the space out wide. Fernandez, oh God. Oh God, there it is. Barca won, Wimbledon nil. Sergio Fernandez takes the lead for them and the pressure has just started to mount a little bit. We're going to get to half time and see what we can do in this second period because at the moment, 1-0, it's still not the end of the world but I would really like us an away goal if we can get one or just do something because Barcelona are a bloody good side. We lost 4-1 when we played them in the new Camp before. Uh, or did we, did we beat them at home though? That's what I can't remember. Fernandez cuts inside. Ah, it's a great finish from him. He's put that Maybe the goalkeeper could have done a little bit better, but hey, it doesn't matter. It's in the back of the net. It's done now. We just need to try and push. Right, we'll get to half time and we can analyse. Analyse. Yeah. Uh, right, we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, show me something else. Get fired up and go at them in the second half. So, again, mostly long passing and a, mostly central. So, I'm tempted, you know, to try the other tactic, but um, to exploit the middle. That, that's my theory. Um, they also said play wider, which was one of the things my assistant suggested. Maybe turning off that as well. I'm just clutching at straws a little here, looking at the things my assistant suggested pre-game and wondering whether it's going to make a difference for us. We're only a goal down. You know, an equaliser in this match is priceless. I think if we can equalise against them, if, and it is a big if, of course, then there is a huge opportunity for us in that second leg uh, because we're strong at home. We really are. It's been a pretty appalling game from both sides, to be honest, so far. Neither team has really even posed themselves. Barca have had the only really good chances in this game, though. Most of our shots have been long shots. Um, right. Coming up to the half to the two-thirds point in the game. They're getting a few more passes now, but we're getting down those wings a little bit more in this second half, so I wonder if maybe switching over to that might be not such a bad idea. Um, and maybe just... I feel like we should be doing that. It's our best approach, I find. Like, that's generally when we play better is when we're, not, when we're working the ball into the box. And we've not shown anything so far in this second half that makes me think that we've got any hope of getting an equaliser here but you know it's not all about it's about two legs so lots of frustrated players going around Cabrera I'm going to get off for Bonnie because he's not had the best game and he's looking frustrated not that everyone isn't of course but nobody's really standing out as being an important like a really good player in this team even Achavar isn't having the best game and I'm going to try and get Roman Masak on next my other change might be Isla for Baltam just to give us a slightly different uh, approach in this second half it's just been such a poor game so far, really, it has. Um, one, it's, a, it's very much like the first game against Schalke, really, where neither team really did a lot, but they got the... Oh, no. Looking long now, Fernandez. we shouldn't really be beaten. I mean, we're not going to get beaten by the long ball, but we might get beaten by him. Bloody hell, that was a hell of a strike from Fernandez. He's really got hold of that. How do we force the issue against them here? How do we break them down? Hmm. How... Um... 
Right, so Wood's still dominating in this middle, but our chances are coming from here, and I just wonder if actually dropping that down to a more mixed approach... I'm wondering if actually going back to our original tactic is probably better, because we've not really imposed ourselves enough uh, in the time since we switched. Right, I just want to make sure that we've got the right changes on, though. Uh, I'm going to lower the tempo down a little bit. I don't want to close down too much. Mm. Now... One of the other things that my assistant said is that we should try counter-attacking. Now, this worries me a little bit, but I feel like at this point we've got really nothing to lose other than the game, which we're already losing, so we might as well give it a crack. The problem is that now they're winning, it's going to make it very, very difficult for us to really achieve much in this match. Oh, go on, just a goal. Uh, I don't think we deserve a goal. We've not played well enough to get one, frankly, so far. Um, this is a carbon copy of that first game against Schalke, it really is, where we've sort of just whimpered a little bit in the game. Um... Right, final change. Baltam's not had a good game and he's on a booking. We're going to get Philippe Eisler on and just try and mix things up a little bit. Make some changes. Go down both wings instead. We're going to look for those overlaps. And we are going to go back on... No, we're going to go on attacking. Why the hell not? We might as well have a, have a crack at it at this point. Close them down a little bit more. Really try and push them for the final nine minutes of this game. Shit, they're going to score a free kick goal, aren't they? No? Rodriguez. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Farmer with the clearance now. We've got three on one here. We cannot screw this up. We're going to screw this up, of course, here. Um, Mikhailov doing very well to get back there. I don't know where the chance is, but I don't know if, if we're done yet. I feel like there's another goal in this game, and I worry that it's going to be 2 0. And 2 0 is a hell of a deficit to over. Oh, shit. Fernandez is through. Don't let him shoot from there. That's fine. That's fine. Um, this has been such an even game. It really has. Um, but they've got the goal. Oh, not another one of these. Visser. Visser. Fernandez is in. Salvi. Oh, my days. We got away with that one again there. Um, oh, here we go. 86 minutes. Salvi now. Ball in. Eisler! That that was the chance. Eisler at the back post. That was the chance to get the away goal. And to give us... The, I mean, that, that's the, clear, the only clear-cut opportunity of the entire game. Um, if that's in round bow time, you've got to feel like he scores there. But he's just he didn't do anything to re reserve me keeping him on the pitch at that point. Eisler now goes down the wing. Can he get the ball in? You know he can. Oh, it's saved. And it's Barcelona 1, Wimbledon 0. We've got a lot of work to do in the second legs. There was not a lot of positives in that performance. I'm far from pleased with the result. Let's get fired up and go into that second leg because we've got one hell of a lot of work to do. Very even game for the most part, but we didn't do the job on the night, and that is the key thing about that. So I know there's another league game in between, which I'm not going to do highlights of because it's just going to make this episode even longer. We'll just play it or whatever, and we'll come back and do the second leg of the Barcelona game right about now. Right, guys, we're back, and it is crunch time now. It's all on the line right now. We, we played one game in between, which obviously I can't show you highlights of because it just takes so much time. But uh, it was a one-all draw with Manchester City, so unfortunately it does look like the title has probably gone from us. Uh, we played a rotated side, but Mateus had to go off injured, which means Peter actually played most of the game. Did put us in the lead in the 87th minute, uh, 82nd minute rather, but City came back and pegged us back to get a draw, and I think that's with it the title. Now, today, we, we've got to go for it. Juve beat um, Monaco by two goals to nil in Monaco, which means that we're going to be playing, if we can get through to the final, at the moment it's not looking too good, it would be against Juventus, which would actually be quite... Of all the three, I would take Juve. Uh, Raheem Sterling actually scored twice in the first leg. So, no Mateus, obviously. We're going to go Peter, Van den Hoeville, Baltam Salvi, Achebar, Farmer, Rodriguez, Gomez, Cabrera, Aseki, Gafrascoli. The bench is... Uh, actually, no, I want to put Neves on the bench uh, instead of Ballesta. Because um, without... You know, usually we have Kenneth on the bench, but he's been playing, basically. So, yeah, he's not had the season I was expecting. I don't think he's probably going to be quite as good a I, at one point i thought he was going to be like world class but it doesn't seem like he's really got that in him. but we're going to go with our full strength obviously but we're going to go attacking basically we're going to not attacking in terms of the uh actual mentality we're going to oh they've changed their system that's interesting Barca have come here to to defend it would appear which could play right into our hands if we play our cards right so we're just going to go for it uh wait a minute did i put it on yeah i did um we're just going to come out there and have a crack at them because we need to do something in this game we just need to win i mean <laughs> as much as that's difficult we've lost we've played barcelona twice in this save and we have lost on both occasions the problem with the one nil defeat is we know that if they score it puts a lot of extra added pressure on us that we cannot afford to screw up basically so we'll get to the half an hour mark in this game and we'll kind of see where we're at in terms of the game itself now barcelona are obviously quite happy to surrender possession at the moment uh looking along themselves predominantly so that might be something to exploit in the second half perhaps um just to drop a little deeper we've yet to hit the target actually wait 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 wait. with that in mind 
the fact that we've yet to hit the target with a shot yet and none of them have been long shots suggests we need to low, slow that tempo down and stop being so erratic. Because at the moment, how have we had 10 shots in this first half and not hit the target once? Also, how is it that we've had 11 shots and only three are off target if only one is on target? Or is that the post a lot? I don't I don't get it. Um, right. That was an absolutely woeful first half where literally nothing has happened. Look at this. We're looking good, but... I mean... It's difficult at this point to know what to really do, other than to just keep throwing everything we can at it. Um, although it does look a little bit like it's one of those games where we really just... I'm actually thinking we should slow that tempo down even further. And... Mm, pass completion is very, very high, so I actually think we might dribble a bit less and just keep that passing moving. Um, keep that ball moving around. Keep... Knock, trying to get them, draw them out of position. Baltam looks like he's taken a... Oh, joy. A bruised head. Perfect timing. I, I think he's going to stay on. Um, there's yet to be a highlight in this game so far. This is incredible. Uh, of all the games you'd get no highlights in, it would have to be this, wouldn't it? We, we've... Right, here we go. Uh, finally, the first highlight of this match, I think, um, is on 59 minutes, which is incredible. So, what can we come up with? Win that. Aiseki drops it through for Achibar. On the hour mark, a goal here could really set up an interesting finish. Peter, back for Farmer. Huge space out wide. Achibar, Peter. Can, oh, that's surely offside for Savvy. Savvy's off. Oh, he's not. He's not offside. And we've... I can't believe they've not had a shot yet. Um, changes surely are coming. The thing is, we can't bring on Mateus. He, we have to keep Peter on for the full 90 minutes because Mateus is just not... You know, he's not there. Um, okay, so... Gerardo Cabrera, he's looking frustrated. And I think he might be the first change to make... Achibar's been superb so far. Salvi hasn't done a lot. And I'm actually wondering if going for Everton instead. And yeah, just doing that for now. If we can just get an equaliser and take this one to extra time. Obviously, it puts a lot of pressure on us still. But what other choice have we got? We've got to go looking for the overlaps. We've got to close down a lot more. Um, exploit both flanks, really. Mm. Maybe turn off the dribble less button. Allow the dribbling a little bit more. Because I think we've got some very good dribblers. And maybe having them on dribble less is just is hindering them slightly. Oh, and now Kenny V's injured. Thank God we put Neves on the bench. Uh, thank God we put Neves on... Oh, for the love of God. Right, okay, yep. Yeah. Kenneth off, Neves on. I, I just, I don't think, I somehow, we've limited them to literally no shots in this game, but I don't think we're going to break them down, and that's the problem. We've They've not had a single shot, and we've just not been able to do it. I, I just don't know. Be more expressive. Maybe we should adjust the uh, tactic itself for the final few minutes of this game as well. Um, in moving both of those two up like that. And just trying to hammer it home for the final few minutes of this match. But I, I don't think... Right, here we go. I can't believe we've actually managed to limit Barcelona to no shots in an entire 90 minutes of football. We've not done that to anyone in this entire save. I don't think, you know, I'm pretty certain we've not limited anybody to no shots in an entire game in this save yet. Um, Farmer, Rodriguez, Baltan, pull it across. Please don't shoot. Oh, Farmer. Everton, yes! In stoppage time, Wimbledon won, Barcelona nil, Everton with the goal. The substitute does the job for us and it is now going to extra time. It has to be. We, they've not had a single shot in this game. How are we not winning this by... I mean, the fact is, we've not had as many chances as I would have liked. But, oh, Jesus. That is edge of your seat stuff. We've got the equaliser in the 90th minute of the game. I thought that Sam Farmer shouldn't have been shooting from there, but it's a great hit. Goalkeeper maybe could have done a bit better, but Everton on the rebound very nearly didn't put that in the back of the net, but it is Wimbledon 1, Barcelona nil, And now things are going to get very, very interesting. Oh, right, okay. We're going to... Whoa, that's cool hair from Mustafa Benali there. We're going to extra time, and we've already made all our substitutions, which is worrying. Um, but, frankly, we, we've just got to go for it, really. I mean, what other choice have we got? I'm worried about the wingbacks, but... I don't know. I just feel like, what are they offering? Look at this. We've had... They've done nothing, really, in this game. We're the ones doing all the work, and I feel like we just need to try and just keep going in this extra time period and just hope. They've actually had a shot, though, apparently. Um... I just don't know. I feel like we probably deserve... I feel like we've done enough in this match to get the win, but we, we actually haven't, because if we had, we'd obviously would have done. Um, right, we're going to concentrate. We're going to tell them to concentrate, because we've got a... Well, we've... 
everybody's going to be tired. Surely Barca are going to have tired legs in their hand, on their <laughs> tired legs on their hands as well. But with the likes of you know Edgar Neves, our third choice. Oh, go on, whip it in, whips it in. Peter couldn't quite get there. If he'd have scored the goal there that put us through to the Champions League final, or potentially could have. Because the thing is, Barcelona need one goal. If we score, they still only need one goal. And that's the problem that we found ourselves in. Oh, shit. Dumont. Watch out. Helder. Watch out here, guys. There's two of them. We should be able to deal with this situation. But we're not. We're not dealing with it. And Garfra is forced into a save. Didn't look like the ball was actually going on target, but how's he to know? Um... Barcelona have not been good today, but at the same time, they have defended, st like, stoically and deserve what they get from it. I mean, they fell right at the end, but even then, you know, we got a bit lucky to get the ball in the back of that in a way. Um, are we on more direct passing? I'm just wondering, because we're in extra time, it might not be such a bad idea to go a bit more direct. Um, get those balls up and over the top, maybe, for the remainder of this period. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. And the worry is, if we go to penalties, I just feel like that that's it. Um because we've not won a penalty shootout at any point in this save, and someone's like, you know, sign loads of players with good penalty stats. I'm not going to base my transfer policy around players that have penalty stats. I'd rather buy good players. And sometimes you get both, but we just haven't in this save, unfortunately. It's just how it's worked. But, you know, maybe Gaffer Scurley will come up clutch for us, or maybe we'll get a goal in extra time here. I, I just don't know. I feel like I, I honestly can't predict what's about to happen right now. It's going to be an incredibly tense one. Um... You know, our home form has definitely carried us through in the sense that we've definitely been vastly the better side again tonight, but not quite so much as we have in previous games, perhaps. Farmer. I'm wondering if maybe just pushing that tempo a tiny bit more against the tired legs might work. Aseki whips it in. Beltam! Yes! It's there! Imran Beltam, Wimbledon 2, Barcelona nil. Now then, what do we do? Do we continue to push? Or, I mean, Aseki puts the ball in the... <laughs> oh my god. Iseki's ball, what a perfect ball that is, and Baltam's in there at the back post, doing what Isla should have done in the last game. We've got 15 minutes to go. Do we make the changes, or do we sit and push that pressure onto Bar Barcelona? They've now got... He's going off with a twisted ankle. They don't have any subs, do they? They're going to be down to, to 10 men. I feel like if we can just hang on... I'll tell you what, I think we've done it, you know. I think we've bloody done it. I think we're going to the Champions League final. In incredible circumstances. Yeah! There we go. Wimbledon 2, Barcelona 0. <laughs> My God. Baltam scores the winning goal in the Champions League semi-final. And who was it that got the other one? Everton comes off the bench to score. We're going to... I, I would say we're going to insert the name of the stadium here, but I don't know the name of the stadium because I don't know where the final's going to be. Insane. And we did it without Fabio in the team. And that means that hopefully if he comes back... Achebar was superb. Everything was just perfect for us. We've done it. We're into the Champions League final. Can we do it? Right, guys, we're back. Sorry, I knew it would take ages to do that menu, so I thought we'd just skip to this point. We are through. We will be, we will be playing Juventus in the Champions League final, uh, which I assume we can see now. Uh, final. Oh, oh, why would you just draw a final for? Okay, whatever. Salvi, look at this. We've got the three best average rating players as well. So... What's going to happen now? Because we've got an FA Cup final and then the Champions League final against Unknown. Why is it Unknown? Juventus won 2-0, didn't they? I swear they won 2-0. Yeah, they did. Uh, weird. I, I, maybe it's because we haven't clicked continue again. Um, so, yeah. Next episode is going to be the FA Cup final. Uh, we're going to do it on extended highlights. Um, and, yeah, basically, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait for that because I really do want to try and win that. And because we've got a week in between... Uh, yeah, we do have a week in between. We can play a full strength side against City and hopefully do it. But I don't think we're going to win the league. Our next three games basically will decide that. If we beat Everton, then we've got a chance. But City will probably win their final game of the season. Let's just see who City are playing in their last game of the year. And then we can sort of decide uh, whether we've got any hope of having any effect in that game. Um, so let's just see. Their schedule is here. Senior schedule. They've got... I've got West Ham at home. West Ham are dead last in the league, I think, or is it second? No, they're 19th, sorry. And so, yeah, it, it's not happening for us, unfortunately. I think we are going to lose the league, but we might not lose it with a record points tally, so I guess there's that. Um, but hey, if we were to win the Champions League against Juventus, I don't think we'd care, would we? So, in the next episode, guys, it's going to be end of season stuff, of course. We'll do a squad report, look through the other leagues, of course, but we'll also be doing the FA Cup final in that game, and then the next episode after that will be the Champions League final, which could very well be you never know, might not be of course, the very final episode or normal episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. So that'd be pretty damn awesome. Um, not to end the series, but to actually finally manage to get the trophy that we deserve. 
And uh, yeah, obviously there'll be a looking forward episode after that. But anyway, this is not time to talk about this right now because we've not done it yet. We've got the three games to, to decide our fate. So I will join you guys then. If you have enjoyed this episode, smash the like button. If we could get maybe 500 for us finally get to a Champions League final, that would be fantastic. And I will join you guys in the next episode for the FA Cup final against Manchester City. I might just suit up for both these games. I think I will. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.